Hello Divination! Making sure that your website visitors know when your posts were last updated is a great way to reassure them that your posts are constantly fresh and always up to date. So in this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to achieve this using some code snippets that needs to be applied to your functions.php file. Without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how we managed to create this. Okay, so let's go through our four examples of how we can show this information on our blog. So the first example here is we're going to swap the publish date for the last updated. So as you can see here, uh, now it's changed to last updated and then it's got the date on it. So the option two is to add a specific time to option one. So as you can see here, now we've added the time. And then here in option three, we're displaying both the publish and the last updated dates with time. So as you can see, it's quite uh, flexible. You can choose which option works for you. And then finally on uh, option four, we're displaying both the publish and the last updated dates without the time. All the code that you need to achieve this will be found on our blog, which I've linked in the show notes below. So what I've done ahead of time here is to create a post. So let's go into the post and I'll show you what it looks like. So if I go into edit mode, all I've done here is I've added this dummy text. I've also added a title of the post. And then finally, the last thing I did here was to add a featured image. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. So if I go ahead and view the post, we can see that this is the standard uh, post and this is the information that comes along with it. So the changes we're going to make are going to be showing right here in this area. Okay, so let me show you how we managed to do that. So the first thing we need to do is to go back into our dashboard and we need to go into appearance and then click on editor. So right here in editor, we need to come here on the right side and choose the functions.php. So scroll all the way down until you get to the end and then just add a bit of space, making sure that all the code that you're adding starts on its own. Because if you add the code within, within these brackets, it might mess up um, the functions of the rest of these items. So the first code we're going to add here is going to show when the post was last updated. So I'm just going to paste the code right in here, click update, and then we, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick preview. So let's go back to our posts. I'm going to click on view. And now we can see that just by adding that code, we have last updated February 15th, 2017. Now let's move on to our next example. We need to add a specific time to this example here. So to do that, we're going to go back here into, into the functions.php and the code that we're looking for is right here. So we're going to highlight this and replace it with the code that's in the post. So I'm just going to press Control V to paste, and then I'm going to click Update File. Now, if this has worked well, we should see a time attached to it. So I'm just going to refresh this page. Right, so now that I've refreshed it, you can see it was last updated February 15th, 2017 at 2.18 p.m. So this is pretty cool. Now let's go on to the third example. So in this third example, we're going to be publishing both the publish and the last updated dates with time. So again, we're going to the same place, but this time I'm just going to select all this code that we added before, delete that, and then paste the new code and then click update file. Again, we're going to come here and refresh the page and see if that has made a change. Okay, there you have it. So we can see here that the published date is also added to this, which is pretty cool. Now let's go, let's move on to our last example. So in this last example, we'll be displaying both the publish and the last updated dates without the time. So let's go back in and look for the code. So this is the code that we need to replace. So I'm just going to highlight it and then paste the code snippet and then click update file. Now, if we come to our post and, re and refresh, you'll see that the time has gone. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. We are producing regular content similar to what you've seen today. So be sure to subscribe on our channels to be notified every time we produce these videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.